Hi everyone, it's Aga from EurekaCrystalBeats.com with another fun beading video for you. Before I get started, as usual, a quick reminder to check out the rest of our channel and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know when we're posting new content. Hey guys, this video is part 2 of making this bead woven brick stitch set. Today I'm going to be making matching little cute star earrings. So. Stay with me and let's make them. Now for the earrings, I've already laid down the beads for the first rows. You're going to start with, just like with the uh, tray, you're going to start with two gold beads and then you're going to have to add some beads on the sides, like in the pattern. So well, let's start. This time I'm going to use Fireline to show you what are the possible differences. And this time you won't need as much thread just about two feet or 25 inches of thread and again i'm not cutting it because i'm going to use the other end to finish the work okay starting with these two beads going through both of them and then again but only through one and that's the first row now I'm going to add these two and then add these two on the side, go back and add these two. Going under the thread bridge, up through the white bead or the second one that I added and then I go back to this first bead and adding two more on the side using the ladder stitch so adding one going back through this previous bead going up through the bead that i added i like to hold it all together because with fire line it's easy to get it all loose okay now I go through this bead again to get to the other side of this row and I go back to add the beads on the other side. Right now I'm in the middle. I add this one bead as if I wanted to increase here so i go down you can just use lather stitch as well i go like this but i like to add this one as if i was increasing in this row down the white one and up the gold one and now i'll add the two with the lather stitch. What I do additionally to make it nice and stiff is I just make this round again so I go back up the previous bead and down again through this bead that I added and again I add the second bead now And I just make another round and I need to end up coming out of it so I just go up. Now for the next row I am decreasing so there's one gold for whites and one gold so I'm adding one gold and one white, the first two beads in the row. I'm skipping the first thread bridge and I'm going under the second thread bridge right there, up the last bead and just to make them nicely lined up I make another circle through them 
like so. And another three white beads. Okay, that was the last bead in this row. I turn my work over. Now another decrease, so one gold, one white. I skip one thread bridge. I go under the second one. Like so. I make a circle through them just to make them all stand up nicely. And here I have one gold bead in the middle. So I add that one. So that was the last bead in this row and the last bead where I was decreasing. Now I'm going to increase and just to remind you how to do that. You take the two first beads in the pattern. In this case it is one gold, one white, just like in here. And you go under the first thread bridge. And that's it, that's the increase when you start your row. Three more white. Now to increase as you finish the row, just like before, you go down the last bead in the previous row, go up the next bead and diagonally the bead in the current row, down the next bead and up the last bead in the new row. And now we do it again. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need to do this arm of the star. So I need to add two gold beads in the middle. So I just need to get there. So I go one down in the row that I just made and one up. And I add the two gold beads and I skip 
this nearest thread bridge and I just go under the next one. And up this last bead. And what I do now is I'm going to go through this second bead under the thread bridge in here and up through that bead and now I'll add the beaded loop made out of size 15 beads just like before I'll add one toho treasure bead five size 15 beads like that And I'll go back through the side, through the Toho treasure bead. And just now I'm going to go under the thread. And back. Oh, come on. And back up the entire loop. And through the treasure and through the other of the Toho treasures underneath. And just to be sure, I'm going to go through all of them again. Now I'll finish my thread just like before by making a tiny little knot and going through several more beads. Now there's still some thread on the other side of the earring, so I just cut a little bit, maybe five inches. And I just add one Toho treasure bead and put it at the end, like so. And I'll go through it again. Now I can end this thread here. Now all that's left for me to do is to add the ring and the earring post. Again, try to close your rings as close as you possibly can in order for it not to fall out. So all I need to do now is to take my ring, take my earring and take my earring post. Put it on, close the ring, and the earring is absolutely finished. Look at how cute it is. I'll now make a second one and I'll show you the entire set. That's it, our beautiful seasonal holiday set is ready. It's very subtle. And I just wanted to show you the difference between making something with threads such as KO and threads such as Fireline. So if you do something with brick stitch, it's going to be, well, flexible. And you can always flatten it out, but it can be bent, it's bendable. And this is what it looks like with thread like KO. These earrings, however, are made with fireline and they are also flexible. So the thread doesn't really make such a big difference. However, they are a little bit more resistant, just a tiny little bit. So don't worry if you don't have fireline. I know it's also more expensive. You can use the thread you have and you're gonna be fine. So that's our tutorial of the supplies and more can be found at eurekacrystalbeats.com. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye!